A 26% gain was quite the beginning for right. SIBO. Was there liquidity though, Julie? Um, there is some level of liquidity. There is volume. I'm, I'm looking at VCCY on the Bloomberg, which is our cryptocurrency monitor. It's a great place to sort of signpost everything that's going on or a billboard, if you will. And right now I'm seeing volume of about 3,000 shares that has been trading. It's trading just under $18,000 per Bitcoin. On the right is the futures chart. On the left is the cash trading chart. So that shows you the difference as well uh, between the two because cash Bitcoin's trading around 16.5 at this point. So in terms of that big increase that we saw, it's sort of par for the course for what we have seen for Bitcoin to some extent, these big swings. And SIBO uh, had prepared for it by setting circuit breakers at 10 and 20 percent. So that's why we got those trading halts uh, that were happening. So there is some liquidity. What we've been hearing from traders is that trading has been orderly, in the words of Scott Bauer, who's a trader down there at SIBO. So no crises as of yet, it seems. Now, CME will be debuting a contract yes. as well in a few days, and there's a big difference between the two. Explain things like margin requirements and why it makes a difference. So one of the, ch the differences between the two, besides the margin requirements, is where they're getting the prices from. As we've learned talking about Bitcoin a lot over the past uh, several months, is that there are a lot of different Bitcoin exchanges. And so one of the questions was with these futures, what do you base the futures prices on? In the case of the SIBO, they're basing it on one exchange, the Gemini exchange, which is run by the Winklevoss brothers. In the case of the CME, they are pulling from multiple exchanges to determine their price. In terms of margin requirements at this point, we don't have all the details on CME, and it could change, but SIBO uh, is requiring 44% in terms of its margin requirements. That means that when you buy a Bitcoin future, you have to put up 44% of that price in collateral, um, which is a higher price, the, a higher margin than you would see for other types of products. Places like interactive brokers are requiring a 50% margin requirement if you're going to trade Bitcoin futures on their platform.